What's up everybody? I'm Chef Ray and this is Chef Ray's Comfort Food with Attitude. Comfort Food with Attitude isn't just a cooking style, it's a lifestyle. It's one that's helped me along my path. From starting as a dishwasher, working my way up the ranks to becoming my head chef, and now running my own food truck, and my own catering company. I'm looking forward to sharing some recipes, tips and tricks with you that I've learned along my path. This is Comfort Food with Attitude. What's up everybody? Chef Ray here. Welcome back to this week's episode of Comfort Food with Attitude. This week we're going to do something pretty simple and it's a great garnish for a lot of different stuff. Pico de Gallo. It's a fresh salsa made with tomatoes, onions, cilantro, and jalapenos. It's really, really good, and I hope you enjoy. All right, gloves are on, knife is sharp. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is dice up our tomatoes. I'm trying to waste as little as possible. Great chefs waste nothing. And again, the key to being great with a knife it's not about speed, it's about accuracy, it's about technique. So you can see, I'm not moving very fast, but I am getting the technique right, and that's gonna ensure that the size is all consistent throughout. Having said that, this can be somewhat rustic. So if it's a little bit of a rough chop, it's not really a big deal. All right, so our tomatoes are diced in the bowl, as you can see, all consistent size here. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is dice up our onion to put it in, which I wanted to show you in detail the way that I dice up onions, uh, and also show you the proper technique for using holding a knife and chopping with a knife with your fingers and your hands. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our onion and come right down the middle, let the knife do the work for you, okay? Then middle finger in front, next two fingers behind it, and then your pinky and your thumb just kind of form like a C. You can see what this looks like here, okay? So this flat part of your knuckle right here is gonna guide the blade and the other fingers, notice how I have them bent back as well. They're not sticking out, they're bent back so that no matter how hard I push against this knuckle with that blade, we're not gonna have bits of fingertip winding up in the food, right? So now we're gonna just take this small part off the top. Now notice on the bottom the root's still there. Why? That's to help keep us from crying. Everyone's got a secret, that one's mine. Leave this little rooty bit on the bottom. That's going to hold all of those uh, vapors and stuff in for as long as possible. Though I will tell you it's inevitable that some of them are going to get out eventually. So ultimately you just have to build a tolerance. So now we've taken the skin away, we've taken off the top. We're just going to slowly come down. Again, it's not about speed, it's about technique. And now we'll come in about halfway. Again, notice the shape of my hand. That shape hasn't changed even once, right? It's all about technique. Now, again, let the knife do the work and just slowly Pretty much every chef I've ever worked for would tell you the same thing. It's not about speed, it's about accuracy. Being fast does you no good if everything is sloppy and messed up. So that's the best way to chop an onion. We're going to go ahead and do the rest of these and get them in our bowl. Proper technique ensures safety and limits cuts. After you've chopped up your onions, go ahead and chop up your jalapenos as well. You can leave the seeds in for something spicier or you can take them out for something milder. Okay, so we've got our onions, tomatoes, cilantro, and jalapenos in this bowl. The next thing we're gonna do is season with a little bit of salt, pepper. Uh, you can add some granulated garlic if you want to, or use fresh garlic. Uh, and then we'll add a couple splashes of lime juice in. We'll mix this all up by hand. By mixing the salsa with your fingers instead of with a whisk or with a spoon, you're gonna avoid crushing the tomatoes and allow the salsa to re retain its texture. So that was really it. Pretty short episode this week, but I hope you enjoyed it. 
pico de gallo is really wonderful because it brings an element of freshness to just about any dish that you can think of. It goes great with grilled chicken, it goes great with red meat, it goes great with pork, it goes great with any sort of vegetarian item. Uh, it's a really wonderful thing to be able to do at home. Uh, once again, my name is Chef Ray. This has been Comfort Food with Attitude. If you like what you saw today, please consider hitting that like button. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the recipe. And please consider subscribing so you can be notified about more new content as it comes out every week. We'll see you next time.